Praise the Lord, everybody. This is yours truly, Birmingham Pastor. We are located at 8301 First Avenue North, Birmingham, Alabama, 35206. Um, I come to you today to share something very briefly that was uh, in my heart and that is on my heart and in my spirit and even in my head. I have to get this off my chest because I want to go further in God and be who all God called me to be. Amen. And I don't want any uh, uh, attachments to me that's ungodly. Amen. That's uh, 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 sinful. Amen. And that's causing a hindrance to where God is taking me in this hour. But one thing that God dealt with me about, I want to share with you, Facebook, social account, Twitter, and all of those out there in the social network world that God is dealing with me with. And it's uh, unforgiveness. We're doing too much church with unforgiveness. We're doing too much stuff and we're calling it ministry. And we have unforgiveness in our heart. Uh, you know, if you back a dog up in the corner, he's going to end up eventually, uh, 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 biting back and saying some stuff. Uh, 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 he's going to bark a little bit loud to where you understand exactly what he's saying. And I found that to be true that sometimes we get backed up in the corner, we get angry, get upset and we say stuff you know, and the real us come out and that damage and hurt other people's lives. Or at times we can just uh, have been, have done some stuff that we don't even know that we've hurt people by doing it or saying it. And I just want to come, you know, as a man first, as a man, as a man of God, as a husband, as a father, as a preacher, just to tell uh, uh, you that I'm sorry. First of all, to God, I repent. I'm sorry for acting any kind of way, carrying myself in any kind of way, doing something or saying something um, that was distasteful or displeasing to you, God. Forgive me right now in the name of Jesus. I want your will to be done in my life. That's why I'm coming to you first. And then to my wife. Amen. To and my girls. I'm sorry for mistreating or mishandling or doing anything or saying anything that was out of the will of God, that was distasteful, that was out of order, that was not the perfect will of the Father, that caused you to look at me differently, strange, and not even be in a place to receive from me. Because I really believe in this hour that God has anointed me to pour. And that's what I want to do, pour into the lives of God's people. And I don't want any uh, negative outlook or any negative thing to be said or done on my end that will cause you not to receive and to believe. Because God is now opening up doors. God is now making ways. And to you here on Facebook, social cam, and to all the networks that are connected to this video, I'm sorry. I repent from the bottom of my heart. Please forgive me for all of my wrong, all of my wrongdoings, all of my actions, all of my... Uh, distasteful ways that cause you not to receive from me or not to walk with me in this season or cause you just to lose hope or faith in what God is doing in me and through me. And I come to you to say that I'm sorry from the bottom of my heart and the depths of my soul and I want you to forgive me. I repent uh, before God and before all of my fellow followers and, 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 and all of my fellow uh, 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 social cam and Facebook family. I apologize and I want to let you know that I love you from the bottom of my heart and the depths of my soul. There's nothing that we ever been through or, or, or dealt with that I can't come to you and say that I'm sorry, forgive me, and I love you from the bottom of my heart and the depths of my soul. I want y'all to be blessed. You'll live longer. Your heart will pump better. The blood will go through your veins better. You'll keep the hair on your head longer if you repent. Just repent and, and forgive others. You know, forgive us. Uh, uh, I did, and we forgive others. That's what the scripture said. So forgive those that trespass against you, and you'll live a life that's longer, and that is blessed, and that is prosperous in Jesus. I love you. Once again, this is yours truly, Chief Apostle, a.k.a. Birmingham Pastor, that's living a life of forgiveness. Be blessed now. Bye-bye.